Hello, good afternoon. It's a girl again, Queenie, presenting from Rocking Tierra Media. And what I'm going to be presenting today is from your magazine, favorite magazine, Rocking Tierra Magazine. Remember, if you need a copy of this magazine, you can always contact us with this telephone number 416-900-8728. I picked 416-900-8728, okay? And our topic today is goal settings importance. I repeat, goal settings importance. Goals are our expected results which we aim to achieve within a specified time frame. Planning is the most laudable strategy we must utilize to get whatever we want, exactly in a career relationship, business ventures, or academic pursuits. Yeah. Goal setting is very, very important in life. Whatever you want to be in life, there must be, a, you must have set out a goals that will help you to be where you envision yourself to achieve that which you want. Okay. You will always set, there must be a goal that you have set, then you'll be following those goals, doing, taking it one step at a time before you know you'll be there, okay? It's very important, always plan. See, planning is the first step to anything, in this career, anything you want to achieve, there must be a plan. If there's no plan, <laughs> it, yeah, there's nothing just like you moving on, you don't know where you're going to, you just, you know, there's no destination, you just do it. But if you have a plan, a strategized plan, that yes, these are the plans I'm going to do. Have, you must have a plan. There's nothing. There's no successful human being on earth that didn't start first by planning. You must have a plan. Okay. The goal must be specific, specific in nature to succeed, measurable in the time required for implementation, achievable within a designated time space or period. Measurable in the time required for implementation, achievable within a designated time space or period. To have a specific goal, have a clear goal of what you want in life. Plan, sit down and plan. Okay, okay, every day this is what I'm going to do. Let me make use of my time. This is what I'm going to do to achieve my aim. This is what I'm going to do to be very efficient myself to me. So even every, even a second count, always make good use of your time. Okay, a specific goal is straightforward without any gumbo jumbo beating around the bush. Achievable should be the backdrop. In order to set a good goal that is measurable with a time limit and deadline imposed. A standard goal is a written history of what people achieved in the past. For example, going to college, getting a job after graduation, falling in love, getting married, having a boy or a girl, a dog and a family fan. If any of these lists comes anywhere closer to your own goal, then you have a template to use and create your own life goals. I'm telling you, if... The standard goal, if, if you want to achieve your goal, whichever career you choose in life, always, like always a mentor, always have someone you look up to. Even if you don't know, you don't have access to the person, to speak to the person personally, you must have books, books that, that is all about what the person did to be where he or she, uh, to be where he or she is, which is where you envision yourself to be. Always read those books, watch such videos, you understand, take the steps that the person followed, Okay, the person there's no way the person will not talk about. Uh, oh, actually, I had uh, I failed to, or um, I had things that actually made wanted to make me to pull out from my my goals. I had things that actually wanted to make me not to achieve my goals. All those things that the person listed were things that he or she did that wanted that would have made he or she not to be where she, she is now. He or she to be where he or she is not. She is now. All those things try to avoid it. I should try to avoid this to inside you not because you might not be strong enough to you might not be strong enough to to continue with your to continue in the waste to be where you envision yourself to be. But actually always have it at the back of your mind that nothing good comes easy. Nothing good you must come out from your comfort zone. It must stress you. Nothing good comes easy. A big musician you see Rihanna today, she didn't just start today and become the Rihanna that she is now. She started from somewhere. She put in walls, go to studios, you understand, break call, re record, all those kind of things. Okay. Realistic goals are far from an exaggeration. Give the goal its exact definition without missing words. Outline all the required steps of the goals attainment. Like I explained earlier, there must be a plan, a strategy. You understand? Since you take two steps at a time, you'll be doing it to be a step closer to your to your dream. A true goal has an inspiration date that guides our consciousness of its achievement. The specific time needed to be allotted to the realization of the set goals, however. If the set time and set goal meets a deadline, here is what I suggest. We assess the goals to determine its values, 
and a different approach to utilize. Okay, this particular page, if the set time and set goal missed a deadline, here is what I suggest. Reassess the goals to determine its values and a different approach to utilize. Okay, let's say, let me just take one. Okay, you, you want to be a musician. Okay, so then going to learn how to play the piano, guitar, all those things, going to music school. You have done this for a year, two years. Yet you can't you can't play guitar, you can't you can't play the piano, you can't I think you can't you have not actually released any song. Just know that that is not your pitch. We assess that good. Think of okay, maybe this music of a thing is not where it's not actually my my calling. As this music I won't, I won't be good in the music industry. I won't be good, I'm just wasting my time here. Just reassess your goal. Sit, like I always say, sit down and try to find out the potentials and try to find out what is this that I'm holding. Maybe it's not good. My, it's to be an entrepreneur. Try something else. Or maybe when you were uh, growing up, you know how to um, convince people to use this particular pen. Use this particular pen. The pen I've been using this kind of thing. Your fellow student. Or any other thing. Maybe you. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you are a good speaker, you know how to communicate with people, you like things that have to do with media. Music might not actually be your choice. Media, yes, music is part of media, but music is part of media, but what you will do is maybe you go and study mass communication, okay? With that, to, with that maybe you'll find yourself in a radio station, being a presenter, a radio station, you find yourself in television station, being a presenter, and all those kind of things. So, it must not be music, okay? Maybe because you love media, you go into music. For the first, second year, not seeing as a, see, if you are doing something, I know you will not achieve everything in one year or so, but at least you will be a step closer. A step as in if you have achieved one step, even if it's how to play the piano or how to write, if, even if it's how to play the piano or how to play the guitar, any one of them. But if you don't actually don't know how to do any one at all, you are not even a step you do not achieve anything at all within the first year because you just know that, that is not your field. That you love media does not mean you're going to music. It might be a, for you to be a it might be that you need to be a presenter or any other thing. Okay? Or an actress or so. Realistic goals are far from okay. A true goal, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, goals are either short or long terms. For example, saving to buy a car or new furniture becomes a covenant with self to see it through to the end. When we set goals to lose 20 pounds weight from your current side, you've got to keep doing the push ups, jogging, stretching, swimming, dancing, or whatever workout that will help us achieve the expectations of weight loss. You have long time and short term goals, and these long time and short term goals depends on your dream. You want to be a medical doctor, it takes years. Um, an engineer, so barista, take years. You want to go a very big company, take years. You set a long term goal. But once you want to be, maybe you don't have a big dream, you want to go a cure shop. That's what you want to go, just a cure shop. You set out, you have a short term goal to set out. And you have a short term goal. You say, okay, this is what I will do. This is what I will But if you want, even if you want to go market, you can actually start from a kiosk, you understand? I own a kid, you a shop, but you're making money, you own a shop from there, you own a supermarket. But if you just how just want to go just a kiosk or a normal small shop, this is that's the short time goal. You set just what well you set you set a short time goal that will help you to go a normal shop or kiosk. But if you want to go a supermarket, you set a long time goal. But inside that long time, short time goal is inside long time goal. Inside that uh, long time goals, if you start from owning a kiosk from a kiosk. I say, okay, if I owe a kiosk, I'm always consistent, always in the shop. I think to people that want to go to work in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, for them to come and buy things. The little money I make from there, I will expand it to a shop. Then from there, to a store. From there, I will expand it to a supermarket. That's his long time. But even if he's going to take, you're going to go step by step. You also owe that kiosk, uh, store. You also owe that kiosk from that kiosk to that store. Okay? Most goals are abandoned along the way, either because the goals are not realistic and achievable, or the individual settings setting the goals was not disciplined enough to stay the course. Patience, this is fall back on patience. Sacrifices are very necessary for every step of the way to bring the set goals to function. 
must sacrifice come out from your comfort zone and be patient anyone can make a wish or a daydream or a fantastic lifestyle they wish to enjoy but only a few people are willing to take the needed steps to defeat challenges and finally arrive at their intended destination of turning their dreams to reality patience and abundance perseverance are the major ingredients we need when going after our dreams a determination is a made up mind that no matter how rugged the journey may play out the weather may become rain, the snow can be a hindrance, the seas may be rough, with stumbling raging storms, we must commit to the course to the end, commit to the course to the end, okay, no matter what comes your way, just be determined that, don't, okay, as you're watching my, you don't say, okay, I'm going to set goals, have it in mind that there must be things that we, as in, that we, that we want to make you stop, to stop, in the race of uh, achieving what you to the race of the problem where you envision yourself to be there must more it's not easy but be consistent be patient be always ready to overcome it to achieve that which you want to achieve be always ready to sacrifice okay come out from your comfort zone anyone can make a wish or daydream a fantastic lifestyle they wish to enjoy but only a few people are willing to take the needed steps to defeat challenges and finally arrive at the attended destination of turning their dreams to reality Conclusively, mm -hmm. set smart goals with the intentions of realistic achievement, and the universe will empower you to succeed in all your endeavors. As you as you watch this video today, go and make plans. Think of what you are going. Think of what okay, this. What I'm actually doing now, the career I'm in now, is it actually the career that I'm good in. This career that I'm in now. Is it actually all okay? This way that I'm following, uh, this um, way that I'm following, uh, this uh, is it actually the way I should follow? Is it actually the things I should, I should be doing? Try and find out the potentials in your things that you are good in doing. You understand? Once you find that out, uh, you plan strategize steps that you will be following to be able to be where you envision yourself to be. Okay, okay, you uh, are. You want to be a footballer because see that footballers have money, they used to have money. When this person have money, you will not do have money, they still have money, and you are playing football. You are going to the field to play football. And ever since you are playing football for years, in your local place or your local area, in that your street, you have not scored goal before. You are still playing goal because I love Ronaldo. I love the kind of lifestyle Ronaldo is. I want to be rich like Messi. <laughs> My dear, you are just deceiving yourself. That you love them does not mean you must be what they, they are. No. Be, try to follow the footsteps of people who are where you are good in. People who are who are where you have potentials, like uh, like okay, let's say, uh, hey, like uh, you are good in media stuff. You can actually media stuff. Maybe you can dance. So because of baby, you don't know how to sing, but you can dance. My dear, follow that footstep. Be learning. Follow Beyonce is a dancer. She's also a musician. So a musician, she's a dancer. So before you understand the things about her, you understand. With that dance, if you are consistent and patient, you will be great. Don't say, hey, back in, hey, don't say, because this person is because oh, Ronaldo is a very rich musician. Oh, footballer, Ronaldo is very rich. That's why I want to be a footballer. You have been playing ball in that your local, you have been playing ball in that your area. You have not scored one goal for the past year that you're playing ball. And they are come out and go and do that one that you are very good in. Always. Always be persistent. Try your best. Work hard. You will see yourself making, being successful with that. Okay. Alright. Thank you. See you in my next video.